What's up, everybody? Delphi After Dawn here. I'm your host, Jason King, and let's talk about P. Diddy and his indictment. P. Diddy going to jail, okay? So, I just want to talk about his indictment and everything. So, they, they ended up charging him with racketeering, sex trafficking, um... All kinds of stuff, right? Kidnapping, arson is being added to that. Uh, I did one video on it where I, I put in the video list of his charges. But I want to talk about a lot of people out there don't understand the difference between like state and federal. Let me explain the difference between state and federal. Puff Daddy going to jail. Okay, in his indictment, they have listed all his nicknames, right? P. Diddy. Uh, Puff Daddy. Sean Combs. I think he, I think one of his nicknames is even like... Uh, Diddy Love or something like that. They got all his nicknames listed. Okay, the difference between state and federal... And this is how I know... P. Diddy's ass is going to jail. The difference between state and federal is, and a lot of people don't might not know this, is when the state prosecutes somebody, you might be accused of assault and battery. Uh, you might be accused of a robbery. Um, you might be accused of a grape, which I can't say that word. I'll get in trouble. But you know what I mean when I say grape. Someone might accuse you of grape. Someone might accuse you of robbery. Somebody might accuse you of assault and battery or, you know, a mugging or whatever the case might, might be, right? Property damage. What the state will do is you'll get accused of those things, right? The state will just go and issue an arrest warrant. You will be charged, arrested for those alleged crimes. And then after you have been charged and arrested for those alleged crimes, then the state will start their investigation against you right? That's why a lot of times when the state will charge somebody that's innocent, they'll start their investigation. Person's sitting in jail for two, three, four months. Then they find out the person's innocent and they just let them out. They're like, sorry, you know, sorry about that. You know, now that's the difference between state. Now the difference between federal is when Homeland Security charges your ass and the, you know, you're charged federally, there's a big difference between state and federal. Federal this is how federal works. When you've been charged federal, federally, that means how they work is is they will take their time. It's a slow process. They will sit back federally. Fe the federal government will sit back like, you know, Homeland Security, the FBI, you know, the feds. They will sit back and watch you for weeks, months, and even years. It's a slow, long process. They will sit back and watch you. They will watch your every move, your comings and goings. They will slowly watch you and investigate you every day for weeks, months, even into years. And they will slowly build a case against you, right? And then after they have watched you and investigated you for weeks, months, into years. It could even be two, three, four, five. It could be even be up to like four or five years, right? After they've watched you and investigated you for like four or five years or whatever the case is, and they've built that strong case and they got all this evidence against you, then they hit you with that charge. That's, how, that's the difference between state and federal. The state will you know, you're getting accused of a crime. They'll just charge you, arrest you. Then they start their investigation on you. The federal government will watch you for weeks and months, investigate you for years, slowly build a case against your ass. And then after they got a strong, solid case, that's when they hit you with that arrest warrant, that those indictments. And so when the federal government comes after you and you've been hit with an indictment, like they've hit P. Diddy, Sean Combs, Puff Daddy, P. D. Love, all his nicknames he goes by, that's how I know he's screwed. 
when Homeland Security comes after your ass and charges you, you're screwed. You best believe they have been watching him for a while. They have built a strong, solid case against him. And ain't no way his little ass is wiggling out of this one. But that's the difference between state and federal. And I just wanted to explain that to everybody. Do y'all know that they, one of the things that they seized from P. Diddy, P. D. Love, Sean Combs, Puff Daddy, y'all know that they seized over a thousand bottles of baby oil and lubricant? That was like one of the things that they seized from him. They seized over a thousand bottles of baby oil and lube from him. Uh, another thing I'd like to explain is racketeering charges. Racketeering charges is like some straight up gangster shit, right? I'm sure y'all have all heard of racketeering charges, especially when it comes to the mafia and the mob and all that stuff. Well, what racketeering charges is, is basically that person has a organization, right? A business, an empire, some type of organization, right? And they're just doing some illegal shit within that business and organization. That's basically what racketeering is uh, in layman's terms. So I wanted to explain, you know, what racketeering is too, because that's basically what racketeering is. Um, but yeah, Puff Daddy, he screwed. He going to jail and probably for a long time. Y'all stay righteous and stay blessed. Peace out.